do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter reproduction in plants in that we will be studying topic natural vegetative propagation when i say natural it means nature when i say vegetative it means part of a plant and when i say propagation it means to grow today we'll be studying how a part of a plant can be used to grow another plant yes without seeds also you can still grow a plant vegetative propagation vegetative means part of the plant and to propagate it means to grow today we'll be studying three ways of natural vegetative propagation now vegetative propagation can be done with the help of roots it can be done with the help of stem and it can be help done with the help of leaves or bryophyte now what are the examples of vegetative propagation by stem an example is sweet potato and asparagus whenever somebody wants to grow sweet potato what is done is you cut that part of the sweet potato which has got buds remember axillary buds apical buds now there are something called as adventitious buds the hairy like structure which you see whenever you buy a sweet potato from a market basically that part of the sweet potato is cut which has got that adventitious bud an adventitious bud can have an ability to develop into a plant we cut that part of the sweet potato which has got adventitious bud put it in soil and you get proper sweet potato depending upon favorable climatic conditions and temperature now adventitious buds are sometimes called as slips and when you use this slips you can use a sweet potato grow now next form vegetative reproduction using roots an example of this is ginger potato or solanum tuber potato we all have started in lower classes whenever you have to grow a potato what you have to do is you have to cut that part of the potato which has got the eye now the eye part of the potato is nothing but adventitious bud and when you take a piece of the eye part of the potato put it into soil proper temperature proper nutrients eventually you will get a potato and you all know that potato grows underground it is a stem modification whereas sweet potato is a root modification the stem of a potato has modified itself to store glucose or you can say food source for itself the next type of modification is the leaves of bryophyllum on the leaves of bryophyllum basically adventitious buds grow and this adventitious buds can be used to plant another plant now modifications of stems and roots have modified for different reasons for example sweet potato has basically modified for food storage whereas normal potato has also modified for food storage so that it can sustain itself into unfavorable climatic conditions natural vegetative propagation an example of natural vegetative propagation could be sweet potato or asparagus now the tuberous roots have adventitious bud on them on the surface area and on the surface whenever there is a favorable climatic condition this buds sprout
vegetative propagation by stem. An example is potato. Now in potato tumor, the adventitious buds, basically the eyes of potato are called, which may develop into a new plant when you cut the eyes of the potato. In runners, or you can say stolen or grasses, vegetative propagation is basically done with the help of Now basically, axillary buds help in stolons or grasses for vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation in leaf or bryophyllum takes place with the help of adventitious bud called as epiphyllous buds. They help in vegetative propagation. Students, in this part of the chapter, we did study how a part of the plant can be used to grow another plant or a new plant. And this technique is called as vegetative propagation. Both your carrot, your onions, potato, sweet potato, everything can be grown by vegetative propagation. I hope you all are clear with the concept of vegetative propagation. Thank you.